Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Are you all set for a memorable meeting yes. today evening? Yes. 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 No, this is not the spirit of your Toastmasters. Are you all ready? Yes. 1924, Ralph C. Smedley started Jews Toastmasters International back in the United States of America. Now, this club has grown to more than 122 countries and more than 200,000, 400,000 clubs. The mission of a Toastmasters club is to provide a positive, a supporting learning experience in which members are empowered to learn communication and leadership skills resulting in a greater self-confidence and personal growth. It's my immense pleasure to welcome each one of you to the 209th meeting of Dunes Toastmasters Club, Club number 919010, Area 57, Division J, District 20. For any meeting, the success of the meeting depends on the participants and the spectators. For the better conduct of the show, let me remind you some rules. Kindly please switch off all of your mobile phone or put it in the same room. Shall we all do now? Yes. yes. Done. Kindly of don't distract the people by moving around or speaking to your neighbors while the show is going on. The restrooms are located outside this meeting room. No eatable and drinkings are allowed within the room. The last but not the least, sex, religion, politics are not supposed to be discussed in this meeting. It's my pleasure to welcome the president of Dune Toastmasters Club to the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome Mr. Jojo for, for his opening speech. <laughs> and guests. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> what do you expect from a winter vacation? You are sitting at home. It's raining. There's no rain. It's torrential rain outside. If you are with your girlfriend, it's the best time to look at her eyes. But when this girlfriend turns to your wife, you are bored at home. There's nothing to do. So the same thing happened to me. For this one last one month, I was on a winter vacation. And when we came back, my friends and relatives asked my wife, How was the vacation? She said, It was very nice. Now, majority of you know that our wife, our best house, are always the best actor and actress. But in this case, I have to say that. She told the truth. Because we had an exciting vacation. And I will give the credit to only one learning or one decision somewhere I took during the vacation that if I want to do something and if I can do something, let me do it. So there were so many excuses during the vacation. It's raining, you cannot go out. You know, there are people are not there, people are working, there's no point of visiting them. Apart from that, somewhere I decided that, okay, if I want to do something, and if I can do something, let me do that. So we had a n number of things done during the vacation, so many trips and everything. I give the credit to this link, which I want to share with you. So let us see, like, you know, last one year, how many of you have been to, say, Dreamland Aqua Park? How many can go to Dreamland Aqua Park? Have anybody? We have not gone. There are so many, so many simple things in our life. We can take our family to the Vimera Beach, which I want to do every Friday, but never done. So what I've seen that in my life, the life is going back like this. If I just step one by step back one step and see the life, it will just go and end. What I have to do is I have to just involve in my life and to steer my life in my direction. 
I'm not telling about a success story of big business plans. What I want to share with you is that simple, simple things which we can do, but we just don't do because of we are lazy or excuses. And when we start doing those things, well, the life changes. If you are with a family, take the family and make them enjoy, which is something you don't enjoy, let them enjoy, but that will turn to be the greatest achievement you can have in your life. So my dear friends, the next, after one year, if I ask you the same question, how many of you have been to, same example, Dreamland Aquapa, how many hands I can see? So, always, I want to repeat that message that if you want to do something, and if you can do something, let's do it. Okay, with that, I would like to start with the, the guest introduction. So, guest, please tell your name and what you do and how you came to know about Post Masters. May I start here? You are a, He's a member. Today, this is the last chance for you. Then <laughs> speak as a guest. <laughs> the guest. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is Kashif. I think most of you all know. I have met you earlier. Um, I am from Bangalore, India. And uh, I work as a franchise manager <coughs> in a laundry box. And uh, how I came to know about uh, the Dunes Toastmasters through Meta. And uh, hopefully, today I'm going to have my induction and begin from next one, next three months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for the next guest, I would like to know the first. Is the ambassador, and you take any post in Toastmasters. I think from almost all post he has already been there, and more than that, he is a passionate Toastmaster who is always there for each and every Toastmaster in this community. Ladies and gentlemen, please acknowledge the presence of those distinguished Toastmaster Balaji. part of India, is Kerala, God's own country. Uh, I came to know about Dunes Toastmasters is through my friend Yasir, and he's the VPPR probably. Okay, so uh, he gave us a guest today. I don't know what happens next month. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. My name is Vijay Pandi. I am from India. I am here in the uh, district. I will be away in the next few uh, days. Uh, Bhatia was uh, uh, in a hotel in the day and week for a year. So I don't know whether I am a regular at postmasters in the future. But I hope I like it. Let's see what happens in the future. Thank you. <coughs> So why I introduce them especially is, uh, of course you can re you can uh, go to any of our Toastmasters, but we can go to these people for further guidance on how to join and what are the procedures for us. Now moving forward, how we can motivate people? What is the easiest way? That is one action. That's an action. You can do actions. Then another one is, the easiest one is, whether they will motivate or not, that's a different thing. What I am doing. Talk. But the 
core motivation, if the person is a really motivating person, I will say the most important thing is his presence. If you can motivate by your presence somebody, that is the ultimate motivation. When I joined the speech club, there was one person, just because he's sitting there, the people were motivated. No action, nothing, but the way his presence was so much motivating. And all through these years for this club, there is one single person who is always with the club, motivating people with his presence, words, and action. So today, this meeting is going to be taken forward by that person. Ladies and gentlemen, please join your hands to welcome the greatest motivator, Toast Foster, Ayur Bhatia. <laughs> <laughs>